right, welcome in Libras. This is a love reading for you. Um, be sure to check out your sun, moon, Venus, and rising signs. This is timeless, so whenever you find it, that's when you're meant to hear it. And as always, please use your own intuition here. We're co-creating together. So if it resonates with you, it's for you. If it doesn't, then it's not, all right? That's our motto. All right, I'm gonna pull one of these and then one of these little heart-shaped love oracle cards I got. So we've got yin. Yin, which is a nice receiving energy. Okay. And then I, wanna... <laughs> I drop a thousand. Okay, let me try this again. They're like heart shapes, so they're kind of hard for my little hands to shuffle and hold. Um, so I don't really do pop-outs for these that much because most of them will pop out. I do like this one, though. Oh, okay. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Love it. All right. So we're open to receiving new love. Libra. And I feel like that's coming in for you. So let's get a little more guidance here from the tarot cards. Oh, okay. uh, I'm a mess. Okay, <laughs> help! <laughs> All right, two more because I just royally screwed that up. Half of this channel is just watching me shuffle cards terribly. All right, Libras, Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to pull these out. We're going to go through them. The Magician. Two of Wands. Page of Cups. The Empress. Knight of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups. Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups, a lot of newness here, Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Today I've been wanting to start out with fears. So fear is Six of Pentacles for Libras. I feel like they're your, your past experiences have been that relationships have not been equitable, equitable, all right? There's not been much reciprocity. I feel like you guys have been the givers here and you feared that your next relationship is basically going to be the same kind of vibe, all right? But I really feel like you left a lot of things that needed to be left behind, all right? So there's been some healing around that mindset. So I feel like you're going to be able to see those kinds of people, the takers. You're going to be able to see the takers from a mile away at this point. Yeah, because I see Wheel of Fortune is good luck, but it's also kind of like the ending of a cycle. So I feel like that cycle has ended. You're poised to move forward joyfully, okay? Confidently. You are showing up as the magician, and the magician can make whatever he wants to happen happen, right? He's he just gets it done. He manifests what he wants. All right, so you're working on manifesting love in your life, and I do see two aces here. So new love opportunities, new things coming in, lots of newness. We've also got two pages. So again, a lot of new stuff. There's a two of wands, so the situation. There may be, um, you may need to pick which route you're going to take. If you've got, you know, two people in mind that you really like, you're going to have to choose. If you have been feeling like you are do want to be closed off and be alone for a while, or I'm ready and I want to take the leap, there's a choice to be made, all right? You do have to make this choice. But I feel like if you choose to open up and to love and let that come in, it's going to be a good time to do it, okay? 
these aces tell me it's a good time. Page of Cups. I do feel like you are learning some new things about yourself, though. But I, I just feel like there's going to be an offer. There's going to be like a love offer come through. The universe is working on the Empress for you, Libra. Um, this could be a Taurus coming into your life. But it's also abundance, fruitfulness, all right, fertility. So in conjunction with this magician, I feel like creating the perfect conditions for which love can blossom, all right? Even if in like family opportunities, so if some of you have been wanting to start a family, um, now is kind of a favorable time to draw, bring in the person that could be your partner, okay? Knight of Pentacles here, he's strange in the timing position because he's not really timing. Honestly, he's kind of second place. Um, but he is responsible. So I feel like really this is representing a person that is responsible. Um, if you're used to people that are takers, very mature, this person coming in is not that. Okay, so it's going to be more of a reciprocal union, okay, a true partnership, if you will. So I do feel like messages coming in. So there's communication. So we've got two pages, but we've also got eight of wands here. So I would be on the lookout for, you know, some electronic communications coming through, um, this love offer. You know, this person could text you. You may already know them, but could text you. Um, if you're on the dating apps, you know, just kind of be on the lookout for a very responsible, uh, mature energy, okay? Because that's going to come through. And I feel like pretty, I feel like it's actually going to happen pretty quickly with the Eight of Wands here. And with the page of wands as the outcome, it's like, it's very new, new things, okay? New opportunities, being open to um, meeting a different type of person than maybe you've dated before, okay? Maybe you're used to more of a knight of wands, but we got a knight of pentacles here. But this is a more committed energy than a knight of wands would be. Okay, so Libras, let's go ahead and look at this yin as far as relationship, the relationship message for you guys. Uh, all right, so let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortless, effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. So right now, there's no real need to push anything forward yourself. Okay, just let it happen. The person's gonna, let the other person make the moves here. And you know, if we are afraid we're gonna end up with a taker, we want something more reciprocal, really paying attention to what they do rather than just what they say, right? Let others show you who they are and listen. All right, so Libras, I do want to take a look at this Empress, which is a Taurus. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, we'll take a look at that energy, the connection there. Um, and we'll also take a look to, at any blocks and specific guidance to this connection. And I'll pull a couple other love oracles and maybe some affirmations with some journaling exercises. All right. So if you want to continue on with me, the extended will, there's a link in the description. If not, I'll see you next time. Take care, Libras. Bye.